Hey there, it's Neil again, and I am uh, so glad that you've come back to check out some things that I'm doing in the studio. And um, I started a bunch of paintings, uh, I don't know, maybe it was three months ago or so, and they're on 16 by 20 pre-stretched canvases. Um, and uh, I started with some just uh, rough composition. I had lined them all up next to each other and uh, with some sort of uh, sienna washes uh, and some ink, um, I started some compositions. Um, and then I glazed over the top of them uh, much later uh, with some blue. And I just kind of want to show you uh, what I'm into um, right now. Um, so over here, I have uh, the four canvases. And you can see here, got them all stacked up. They're not very thick. They're, uh, I don't know what this is, 5 eighths inch thick canvases. And then these are 16 by 20. And you can see... Uh, that at some point I had them all laid out together um, so that they, um, I drew kind of across all of them with these different washes of uh, sienna, uh, ochre, and, uh, and then uh, ink. And the effect that I got was really this really nice, I guess, ethereal kind of quality, I suppose. Uh, but then I, um, you know, as I do, I kind of work these things up in stages. And, uh, and the first thing is kind of a general dividing up of a picture plane, in this case, a series of picture planes, uh, into, um, into sort of different regions and, uh, and components and movements, I suppose. Uh, and, then, um, and then I usually do something totally different on the next layer, in this case, um, I've added this blue, this really nice thalol blue. I think it's kind of a, I don't know, I was kind of inspired by Yves Klein uh, and uh, Klein blue, this really rich blue color. Uh, and I thought I would glaze over them and just kind of see what happens. And what it did was really unify the image it uh, or the images. It kind of uh, toned back and uh, sort of moved, modulated the hues uh, uh, in the yellows and oranges into uh, the green uh, hues. And then, of course, the blacks um, became much cooler. And uh, so that's the second stage. So I kind of had chaos uh, and gesture and all of that. And, uh, and, then, um, and then really, uh, I don't know, like order or something, or the blue is there to tie it all together or somehow get everything to work together. And now the next layer, I'll probably come over the top and break this up into regions. And this this um, moving between order and chaos and back and forth between uh, putting something on the canvas and then trying to get it all to work together, and then pulling out elements that I really enjoy. It's kind of, um, it's, uh, it's a bit like music for me, I suppose. Um, and it's like creating a, uh, spontaneous improvisational composition in many ways. And I do that back and forth for a while until I sort of develop a really solid um, sense of where the, the series is going, in this case, a four painting series. Um, I think this one's going to be, well, I guess I don't want to jinx it. So I'm not going to sort of say exactly what I think it's going to be quite yet. I'm still on my way with this group. But this is typically how I might begin something. And these may sit on my in my on my easel or in sort of the rack here for a while take them out and write about them and look at them rearrange them i will paint them maybe sort of uh, vertically i might paint two or three together in a row turn them um, the other direction um, and turn them around upside down and and really try to um, develop a conversation with what's happening and really it's kind of like a conversation with what's happened with my past self what I've chosen uh, to leave in, what I've chosen to edit, and then my presence. So there's a sense of time in these. Like, what was I thinking two weeks ago? And what am I thinking now? How do I feel about these? What are what ideas are spinning around in my mind uh, this week? And then how do they relate to sort of what I was thinking about before? Now, I generally have lots of things like this going in the studio. So this is another sort of simultaneous series that's going on in in uh, in the studio so i think uh, that's in a nutshell another group of uh, works that i've been working on i hope you found that interesting uh we'll see how they evolve i hope you track the progress
Thanks.